in the last bit of optical isomerism, you need to be able to identify the chiral carbons in cyclic compounds. For a cyclic compound to be able to show chiral carbons, it must be asymmetric, not symmetric shape. What do I mean? Well, let's say I have this compound right here. Looks pretty symmetric because when I make the line of symmetry at the center, what I find is that the left side is equal to the right side. The left side is equal to the right side. What do I mean? So I know that these carbons cannot be chiral because all of these carbons are bonded to two similar atoms. So uh, the only possibility is this carbon right here. But this carbon is bonded to a hydrogen and chlorine. And now what is the other two bonds? Well, the other bond is going anti-clockwise. The other two bonds are this one bond, which is CH2, 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 CH2 and CH2. And then the last bond is this bond right here, which going clockwise is CH2, 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 CH2. And you find that both sides are equally the same. So these both sides can be considered as similar groups. So, so these two bonds right here are similar and thus this carbon cannot be chiral. Now, let's say that I add a bromine. When I add a bromine, right, uh, the bromine is on this carbon right here. So let me just erase this. Uh, yeah, and then hydrogen with a bromine. Yeah, so when I add the line of symmetry at the center, what do I find? I find that the left side is now different from, from my right side. I have a CH2, 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 CHBr, CH2 going anti-clockwise. Keep in mind, I'm checking if this carbon is chiral or not. So I going anti-clockwise, it is CH2, 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 CHBr and CH2. But when I go, go clockwise, right, I get CH2 and then CHBr and CH2, CH2, CH2. So going clockwise and anti-clockwise gives me different arrangement of uh, groups. And since this is asymmetric, I could say that this carbon is chiral. Now, what about this carbon right here? Can this be chiral? Well, yes, because this carbon right here is bonded to a hydrogen, a bromine, and then these two bonds right here are different. Why? Because going anti-clockwise, right? When I go anti-clockwise, the first group is CH2. The second group is CHCl. But when I go clockwise, right? The first group is CH2 which is similar to the, the one going anti-clockwise. Going anti-clockwise, my first group was CH2 as well. But my second group, which is this one right here, is a CH2. Whereas when I went anti-clockwise, the second group was CHCl. So since these two are different, I can also say that this carbon is said to be chiral. So in this compound, I have two chiral carbons, this one and this one. Now let's say I add a bromine here. So now is this carbon chiral? Since both sides are equal, this carbon cannot be chiral. What about this carbon or this carbon? Can these two be chiral? Well, for that, the simplest thing I would do is make the line of symmetry right here. Are these two sides equal or different? They are different because at one side I have a chlorine. At the other side, I have bromine. Since both of these are different, I would call this carbon chiral. Let me explain it in a different way. So this carbon right here, is bonded to a hydrogen, a bromine, and then these two bonds right here. Now, going anti-clockwise, I have a CH2 group first. Going clockwise, I also have a CH2 group first. The second group going in the anti-clockwise direction I have is CHCl, whereas in the clockwise direction, I have a CHBr. And you can see both of these are different. So these two bonds can be considered two different bonds. So these two are different, therefore this is also chiral. And similarly, this can also be chiral because look, let me make the line of symmetry right here. And what I find is this side is different from this side. So this carbon, right? So this carbon right here is said to be chiral.